Welcome to the Technical Drawing 7, Quarter 3, Module 2, Week 3 to 4. For our lesson for this week, we have Orthographic Drawing. This module provides various activities that will help you review your knowledge and skills about orthographic drawing. It will also help you learn practical uses and applications of it in our future lesson. At the end of this module, you are expected to Number 1. Define what is orthographic drawing Number 2. Identify and understand the use of orthographic drawing And number 3. Prepare and submit orthographic drawing For what I know, directions, read each item carefully and choose the best answer Write the letter of your choice on the space provided before each number What's in? Technical drafting or drawing is the act and discipline of composing drawing that visually communicates how something is constructed. It is essential in communicating ideas in industry and engineering. One must have the ability or skill in reading and interpreting drawing to make it easier to communicate with others. It is also needed when you have ideas and you want it to turn into something tangible. Sometimes, the use of symbols is required in drawing. Technical drawing is mechanical drawing, wherein it requires accurate measurements and even line constructions. This is where the attracts person needs the skill in understanding the mechanical drawing in order to interpret right what has asked them to do. There are different ways of representing a drawing, one of which is by means of multi-view drawing, three-dimensional drawing, or the 3D, and others. Therefore, it is important to understand the different ways of representing a drawing. Now, for the review of our past lesson, please answer the following. Identify which of the following is the alphabet of life by writing yes or no on the space provided. For the what's new, look at the following pictures below and try to guess what the hidden figures are. Now, let's proceed to the what is it. We will study more about the orthographic drawing. When we say orthographic drawing, it is a projection or representation of separate views of an object on a two-dimensional surface. It reveals the width, depth, and height of the object. It came from the Greek words orthos, which means to write, and grapos, which means to draw. Now, to further understand how orthographic drawing is drawn, let us first have the two methods of shape representation. The first, we have the pictorial view, and second is the orthographic view. Pictorial view is the representation of the complete shape of an object. This is the example. While on the orthographic view, it is a representation of two or more separate views. Orthographic projection is a way of showing a three-dimensional or 3D in two-dimension or Orthographic views gives us a very clear method of communicating ideas and objects. Now, observe the pictures of this dog. This dog is projected with its front view, right side view, left side view, and top view. While this car is projected with its side view, front view, and top view. However, this man is projected with its front view. This one is his side view and the rear view. In orthographic drawing, we have the three regular views. The first one is represented by the top view. Number two is the front view. And number three is the side view. Top view or plan view. It is drawn above the front. So this one is the example of the pictorial view of an object. 
this arrow represents the top view of this object. When it is drawn, yeah. So it is the example. This L-shaped like object is the front view. Then parallel to it is the top view. So the arrow at the top represents the top view of the object. Now let's answer where is the top view of this object? Is it letter A, letter B, or letter C? If your answer is letter C, you are correct. We have the one, two, three blocks at the top and one block at the bottom of the object. So the answer is letter C. Now let's proceed to the front view. Front view is drawn vertically aligned and below the top view. So in this object, this represents the front view. Let us answer where is the front view of this chair? Is it letter A, letter B, or letter C? If your answer is letter A, you are correct. This one represents the front view of this chair. Now for the right side view, it is located at the right side and aligned with the front view. So in this picture, this one is our front view. And then for the right side view, this is how it looks. The right side view is drawn at the right side of the front view. Let us answer where is the right side view of this object. Is it letter A, letter B, or letter C? If your answer is letter C, you are correct. So letter A represents the front view of the object. So this is the letter L shape and then the side. In letter B, it represents the top view of the object. So this one is this and then the two blocks and the third one. And letter C is the side view, which is the answer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six box. So the answer is letter C. Now to summarize the three regular views, again, we have the top view, the front view, and the right side view. Again, we have the top view, the front view, and the right side view. Now, we are done with the three regular views. We will now proceed on the six principal views. So, earlier, we discussed about the top view, which is drawn above the front. The front view, which is drawn vertically aligned and below the top view. And the right side view, which is located at the right side and aligned with the front view. Now, for the number 4, we have the left side view. It is the opposite of the right side view and located at the left side and aligned with the front view. Fifth is the rear view. It is the opposite view of the front view and located aligned after either at the right side view or left side view. And lastly, the number 6, we have the bottom view. It is the opposite view of the top view and this must be drawn vertically aligned and below the front view. Now, this is how the six principal views looks like with a glass box. So, this is the front view. This is the right side view. They are the same with the left side view. The hidden line represents this one. The line in the front view at the center and the rear view. For the top view, we have this object and the bottom view. The the broken lines represents the hidden lines in the object. Now, can you correctly label the following views with the correct letter? Here we have the R in the front, G at the top, and B at the side. Now, place the letter on these boxes. We have here the front, the top, and the side. 
Okay. So, the first one, the letter G, it must be at the top. Or at the top view of the object. So, letter G is represented by the top view. And then, we have the letter R on the front view. Lastly, on the side view, we have the letter B. Now, let us have another one. So, in this object, we have the letter B, R, G, R, and G. Now, let's place those letters in the orthographic view. So, let us first place the letters in the top view. So, what letters must be here in the top view? So, okay, we have the letter R on the left side and another R on the right side. So, this one or these two are the top view of the object. Next, for the front view, we have the letter B. So, this represents the L-shaped uh, object in this front view. And lastly, we have the letter G at the top, top portion of the side view, and another G for the lower portion of the side view. Now, for the last example, we have here the letter G, B, R, and R. Now, let us place these letters on our orthographic view. So, let us first have the top view. We have the letter B. So, this portion is represented by letter B, which is the top view of the object, and the R. So, this inclined surface is also represented by the top view. It is seen at the top. Next, in the front view, it is represented by let Now, for the front view, it is represented by the letter G. And the last, for the side view, it is represented by the letter R. So, this one at the lower portion and the inclined portion at the top. So, when it is inclined, it is also seen at the top and at the side of the object. Now, we are then discussing the six principal views of an object. So, we already discussed the orthographic drawing, the three regular views of an object, and the six principal views of an object, which is the top view, the front view, the right side view, the left side view, the rear view, and the bottom view. Now, in constructing the orthographic drawing, we need the three space dimensions. So, these are the height, width, and depth. Height is the distance elevation from top to bottom. While the width, it is the distance measure from left to right. And the depth is the distance measure from front to rear. So considering this object, so in this cube, we have the height which is the distance from the top to bottom. We also have here the depth or the distance from front. So, this is the front of the object as we discussed earlier and the rear. And lastly, we have the width. So, it is the distance from the left side of the object to the right side of the object. So, here are the principles of the orthographic drawing. Now, in answering your module, let us have the what's more independent activity number one. For the direction, complete the sixth view of the orthographic drawing. Write your answer on the space provided. So you will only need to supply the different views here in the boxes. Now for the independent assessment one, just write T if the statement is true or F if the statement is false. For the independent activity two, arrange the following word below that is related to orthographic drawing. Write them inside the box that corresponds to its function. So we have the three space dimension that we discussed earlier and the two plane of projection. For the independent assessment two, fill in the missing word or words to complete the steps in constructing orthographic drawing. Write your answer on the space provided. Now for the independent activity three, you will skip this activity, then proceed to the independent assessment three. 
So for the direction, match the corners number 1 to 5 found in the orthographic views with their corresponding corners labeled in the capital letters in the isometric row. Write your answer on the space provided. So we have here the given letters in every corners of the orthographic drawing. And then you have to write the letters that corresponds to the number 1. For example, the, num the number 1 in this corner, so what letter is it in the front view? So letter only. For what I have learned, write the importance and the use of orthographic drawing and how it will help you. So, write your realization below by plotting your ideas. Next, for what I can do to ensure the deeper understanding, construct the orthographic drawing on the given isometric drawing below. Do it in a long band paper. All dimensions are in centimeter. So, we have here the pictorial drawing. You will draw the front view, the top view, and the side view of this object given this dimension or this measurement. Now, for the assessment, you will skip this activity, then proceed to the additional activity. So, for the additional activity, study the given isometric drawing below, then construct the orthographic drawing of it in a long band paper. So, again, you will construct the orthographic drawing uh, with its front view, top view, and side view with the given measurements. So that's all for the module number 2 in Technical Drawing 7, Orthographic Drawing. So thank you for listening. We dismantle.